I'm here at the new Army Recruitment Centre in Dalston to ask Lieutenant Colonel Paul Melvin about the decision to come to Hackney. Basically what it is, it's, it's all about re-engaging with the public because the public's kind of lost touch with who we are, what we do, what we deliver. Um, and basically what I wanted to do was to be able to get them in, enthuse them about the army and actually educate them a little bit as well as to what it is we do. Because the public's view of us, generally speaking, is either stood outside Buckingham Palace in a red tunic or getting shot at on the news. And, that's, and, and there's nothing in between, they don't understand what goes on in between. And actually that's, that, those two extremes are only 10% of the army. The other 90% of the army is invisible. So what I wanted to do was to be able to people to come in and interact with us, talk to us, see some of our kit, experience it, and actually find out about the army that, you know, is vital to society at the end of the day. What would you say to groups like Mothers Against Guns who argue that um, it's a poor choice to, well, to have a centre here? It's an interesting question. Um, actually, the Mothers Against Guns um, incident that happened on Thursday, we were unaware that it was them uh, that were involved. We were just asked a question about whether or not it was wise to have guns here. Um, the, the gun in, in question is actually an army rifle um, where you know, on the streets, the, the, the gangs are using handguns, not rifles. So it's the, the two are are completely different. Also, in terms of the security of the weapon itself, we have it's chained to the wall. It's also alarmed. It's supervised by a trained army NCO, and it's also locked away in a secure cabinet overnight. So you know, there is no security issue with it. And as I say, it is fundamentally different from the, uh, the, the type of weapon that would be used in street crime. And lastly, um, just about the virtual simulators and the, the games that you can play here, um, would you say that there's a problem with the violence on those games at all? Not at all. And as I say, we'd be very careful to make sure that they are age-restricted, so we don't let anyone under 14 uh, use the, either the range or the operational um, um, simulator. They are very realistic. Uh, it's not. It's nothing like some of the games that are available on the internet in terms of, of you know, the, the the blood and guts that you see in some of the things like um, what's it called, Tour of Duty 4 and all that sort of stuff. It's not like that at all. It is very matter of fact um, and realistic, um, and and um, I think hugely hugely fun as well, which the, the kids are clearly enjoying as you see them queuing up to get on them. This is Beth Miller reporting for the Hackney Post from Dawson Kingsland Shopping Centre.